What's up, YouTube? BK with BK Gaming 9000 here, bringing you a Destiny 2 video. This video is going to be focused around what I think Destiny 2 needs and what it doesn't need. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into the ideas. So, starting off of what it needs, because there's a lot more of what it needs than what we don't really need, we have constant update content. What I mean by that is we need a more steady flow of updates coming to Destiny 2 than Destiny 1. For example, the shoulder charge meta for the Titans. I loved using the shoulder charge, but let's be honest, it was OP and it took a really long time for them to fix it or deploy a patch to fix it. So that's something that we can look at. Another thing that we can look at that could be used under that same category is a smarter way to fix and update weapons. So we also need to be conscious of when we do updates for weapons like when they nerfed the hand cannons and by the, the range and stuff like that not only they more focused on that for PvP but they forgot about the PvE aspect of it whenever you do a weapon update change it drastically changes it for one or the other they need to find a common ground for the middle man just so that everybody has a happy medium because some of the weapon updates, especially for auto rifles, make PvE a lot less fun. Because starting out in Destiny, a lot of people used auto rifles and stuff like that. And now, some people use them, but not as much as they used to, especially in PvE. We need to have a way to look at the lore. Because they mentioned in the interview that they are no longer going to be doing Grimoire. So, we... I would personally like a way to keep the story fresh whenever I'm like away for like three days or something like that, maybe catch back up in the story by being able to go read something or do something to catch myself back into the story. That would be pretty cool. We have to have more seamless gameplay. Now it's not going to be 60 frames per second, but what I mean by this is whenever you're going to orbit or you're going into something and you have your menu popped up, it force closes you wherever you're at, no matter if you're infusing something or whatever, it force closes your menu to open up that gameplay. I would like it so it doesn't do that. It's kind of more of an annoyance thing than it is an issue. I would like a more exciting way to get new exotics in what I mean by this is I kind of like the missions for the Black Spindle and the Touch of Malice and the Outbreak Prime. I like missions like those, but I also kind of want them to throw in some, like, you know, hidden stuff. And I believe when they talked about Lost Sectors and Adventures, they kind of hinted at this, where you're going to be able to get something really cool at the end. So hopefully they stay true to that. I would also like to have an RNG section for some exotics. I know RNG is a term that a lot of people don't want to hear, but let's be honest. We do need something to grind for in the game, so having that RNG in there would be acceptable. It would be kind of cool if they made some exotics similar to the RNG ones, but that's not really an important step here. Now with PvP, we need to make the maps feel really good, especially if you're going to have a 4v4. I'm not personally happy with 4v4, but that's the route that they're going, so that's the route we're going to get. So 4v4 is coming. What I hope that they do is they add a classic mode where it's 6v6. That would be kind of cool. I definitely would like to see that return. But they are gearing up and 4v4 looks like it's going to be it. So I hope the maps and all the maps are going to be catered towards that 4v4 and not a big map like we have now for 6v6 or even more. I would also like, this is more of another annoyance thing, I would also like the ability to get rid of some things in my inventory. Things such as the snowman helmet, the ice helmet, the... Things that are just annoyances that build up after you get like Treasures of the Ages or something like that. If they even offer those in Destiny 2, which I'm pretty sure they will because it's a marketing thing, so why not? And I hope that they allow you to get rid of those because I have about 20-something snowman heads. And they are 30 minutes a piece and I don't have enough time to 
put on a snowman head to get rid of it so it clears up my inventory. And yes, I could put it in my vault, but that wastes my vault space. Why would I want to waste my vault space on some snowman heads? So that's just another annoyance thing that I hope that they address because it's, it's really annoying. I would like more types of patrols and public events. So whenever I started Destiny, there was always like four types of patrols that you can do and they were always the same type of mission. Repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. I really hope they dive in and they change this so they have more types of missions so it's not as repetitive. But when you go to take out the most wanted enemy and it ends up being the same enemy you took out two minutes ago that's really repetitive and it's not that enjoyable with the public events i hope that they either make different types of public events or they make public events that are more enjoyable because the ones that they have now it's basically either kill the object within a certain amount of time or stay in a circle and kill off the enemies that come to you and so, the, I mean, I would like it to be like an actual mini mission. And I believe that they have that within the Lost Sectors and the caves and stuff like that. They said it's like a 15 minute mission type thing. So, that's on the right track, and I really, really like that. New relic located. I would actually like to see better character exclusive exotics. So, in Destiny 1, they had the Fabian strategy, you had the Talak, and then you had. Uh, the ace of spades for the hunter exotics you, you didn't really see the talak and the fabian strategy nor the ace of spades as much as you used to because of the recent changes to the meta for the weapons but i would like to see them be a little bit more unique and catered towards that character rather than a subclass or a special if you can or just you know a titan that has a glass half full basically for the fabian strategy so um, i would love to see that now let's move on to the things that we don't need the things that we don't need and I'll, some people might disagree with me on this but we don't need akimbo weapons i don't see a, a use for akimbo weapons in destiny destiny is not about being close in your face it can be if that's your play style but Relic. Secure. Most of the time, you really want to be kind of mid-range, especially in PvE. I can't really even see a way that I would love to use akimbo weapons in PvE. That would just be pointless, in my opinion. So, no akimbo weapons. Please don't add akimbo weapons. We have specific weapon mods. I don't really believe we need weapon mods unless they are PvE aiding only and what I mean by this and I don't think they've addressed any of this at all but there's some clips that are in the thing where they're in the caves and it shows a titan that has a flashlight on his gun instead of the ghost doing that if that's what they mean that's fine by me but the same sense I don't really want to see weapon mods on a weapon that can be used in PvP because let's be honest if that changes the weapon and how it's used it would put an advantage over others and then you would see a lot of people complaining and stuff like that. But in PvE, you're all gaining from that Maybe weapon mod, so I don't really see it hurting as much. So uh, that goes back to the what it needs for the balancing of the weapons for PvP and PvE. One thing that we don't need, and I think everyone can agree with me on this, is glitches that affect your gameplay. One of the things that made me so upset about the wrath of the machine raid was when you make it to axis at the end and the captain spawns in the ceiling and you're on the last phase of access doing damage and he spawns in the ceiling and you have to wipe because there's no way you can get him and that to me was game breaking and it needs to be fixed because that you know took away from my gameplay as well as took away from my team's gameplay and we it wasted my time basically so they need to put a stop to that and then last but not least what I think the, the game doesn't need is a short campaign and I think everybody here who bought Destiny from year one would agree with me that the campaign was extremely short for Destiny 1 I was like that's it and now I have to wait for the season pass stuff I hope that they make Destiny 2 richer, more 
gameplay more to the story i know they mentioned since there's no grimoire there's gonna be a lot more lore in it and i can't wait for that because i love that stuff and i just hope that there's a lot more now a little bonus thing that i think of what it needs i think we need a new subclass to go search for i haven't really thought of something new in general like maybe a new type of subclass because they only gave us you know solar and then they showed off some void um, with the hammers, or not the hammers, the shield, like the Captain America shield. But I believe each character needs its own subclass that they is unique to them. Like maybe a dark subclass or something like that. I don't know. It might be too late to talk about that because that's more of a speculation type thing. But I think that they need to do something different. They've really only given us two subclasses for the characters, each character right now. So you have the Sentinel shield and then you have the Fist Strike, but they haven't talked about his hammers. Don't let up. But there is, you know, stuff that's in there that kind of leads towards that. So, you know, it's kind of a more up in the air type of conversation at this point. But I would think it would be kind of cool. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. That would be it, guys. Let me know what you think and your thoughts on these ideas in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Destiny 2 content in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. New relic located. Excellent resource acquisition.